Park is a great place to be assigned. We certainly make them feel like this is their home. The history of how things in Alaska got the way they are is also important to build context for decision making. The value that Alaska brings is paramount. The ability to operate in a winter environment, the ability to deploy rapidly, the integration between the Army and the Air Force and all the other services is invaluable to our ability to meet our nation's requirements. The state of Alaska is strategic, vast, and vital to our nation's defense. Hey, keep moving! Due to its sheer size, Alaska offers unparalleled training opportunities for the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard. The, the idea that you can have the Army and the Air Force training on a day-to-day -day basis here, the idea that you can have the Navy, the Coast Guard, the Marines as part of that uh, joint operation, the fact that you can have combined training with the U.S. and our allies is just a superb opportunity that we ought to be taking every advantage of. Alaska is home to the Joint Pacific Alaska Range Complex, consisting of over 65,000 square miles of airspace, 2,490 square miles of land space, and 42,000 square nautical miles of sea and airspace over the Gulf of Alaska. Jay Park's airspace is nine times larger than the Nellis Air Force Base Range Complex, and its total area is larger than the entire area of Colorado. Oh, Jay Park has three bombing ranges containing more than 400 different types of targets and more than 30 threat simulators. The sheer size and complexity of range simulations in Jay Park makes it the most engaging and diverse training range that the U.S. military can offer its forces. Alaska gives you greater airspace than anywhere else in the world that you can train. You can also fly supersonic over vast areas of Alaska. And if you're going to use the F-22 the way that it's designed to be used, with its super crews as well as its stealth capabilities, uh, what better place to do that than here in Alaska? Jay Park is custom made for fifth generation, not just for the aircraft themselves, but for the weapons that they will employ, the jamming techniques that, uh, that they could potentially use to the targets on the range. It gives us the ability to do that away from uh, an actual developed area. There is no encroachment. It allows us to go out and train the way we would fight away from interfering with commercial and civil activities. The Jay Park Army Battle Area Complex and Combined Arms Combat Training Facility near Fort Greeley combined with Jay Park's Air Component Ranges provide true-to-life air and ground coordinated battle simulations that cannot be conducted at any other training range in the nation. The area of Jay Park and the, the vastness of the area gives you unlimited amount of target array. I mean, you could put targets anywhere because it's so big. The leaders have to constantly train and think because you can change the, the, the scheme maneuver and the target any way you want. It gives you that sense of uh, unpredictability, which is what war is all about. And that's what the, uh, the Jay Park range will give you. The Gulf of Alaska Naval Training Area consists of 42,000 square nautical miles of maritime and air training space. The proximity of the Gulf of Alaska Naval Training Area and Jay Park presents rare joint training opportunities for sea, air, and land forces. Stay on ready for fire mission. There's no other place like it in the world where you can, uh, you have the, the sky the size of Florida to maneuver in free to provide that jointness between the Army and the Air Force. That uh, cannot be done anywhere else besides here in Alaska. You can do brigade level training at the Army, you can do Air Force level training, and then you can bring all the forces together with the battle group off in the Alaskan Gulf, and you're not simulating things like communication and ranges to get to and from ships to targets and to bases. It's the real mileage. It's the real mileage that you would confront if you went into a theater of operations. It's incumbent upon our senior leaders to provide the best training area and the best resources so we can carry out uh, the nation's bidding and to train our most precious resource. It's young men and women in uniform. Alaska offers unparalleled training value to all branches of the military. It is strategic, it is vast, and it is vital to our nation's defense.